Okay, welcome to Mr. Criminology. Uh, so ngayon, we will be ha having our Q&A in the field of forensic photography and hope it will help somehow to give you review for your upcoming board examination. Let's have the preparatory knowledge in the field of forensic photography. I'll be reading the question and I'll give you some time, then answer it to yourself and then I'll give the correct answer for us to have this exercise. Let's begin. Question number one. It is an art or science which deals with the study of principles of photography, the preparation of photographic evidence, and its application to police work. A, photography. B, forensic. C, forensic photography. And D, police photography. Okay, hope you have your answer. The correct answer here is police photography. Your keyword here is the application to police work. That is your keyword. Uh, the application of the study of principles of photography when you prepare for your evidence and to apply it in your police work. Photography is the general term. Forensic has something to do with the court or legal proceeding or legal matters and forensic photography using the principles of photography for court presentation. Let's have the second question. To understand photography, we need to know first the origin of its name. The first word pause means blank. A, light. B, right. C, sun. D, image okay hope you have your answer the correct answer here is light pause means light the most important medium in photography because it is the one na, na ating instrument in writing okay writing or exposing the sensitized materials. Let's continue. It is an art or science which deals with the reproduction of images through the action of light upon sensitized materials with the aid of a camera and its accessories and the chemical processes involved therein. The choices are photography A, B, forensic, C, police photography, D, forensic photography. Okay, hope you have your answer. The correct answer is photography. So generally, photography is an art or, or science. Art because we need skill, science because we have a system processes in the production of the images, okay? And the elements includes the action of light, the one that, that na ginagamit pang right natin, the aid of a camera, which is the equipment, and sa ang pagsusulat ng light sa sensitized material, which is the film at yung ating photographic paper. Of course, camera has the different accessories and etc. So let's move to the next question. The following are the three basic components of photography, except A, light, B, equipment, C, chemicals, or D, development. Okay, hope you have your answer. The correct one is development. The three A, B, and C are the three components of photography. We need light, we need equipment such as camera, and chemicals. 
for our development or the processes. So development is a process, not a component, okay? Let's move to the next. In the history of photography, this is a simple camera that can be built by making a pinhole in a box. Light passes through the hole and form an inverted or backward image of the subject on the back of the box. A, camera obscura. B, pinhole camera. C, heliograph. D, the gereotype. Okay, the correct answer is pinhole camera. So sa atin palang choice, makikita mo na ang keyword na pinhole in a box. Okay, later on we will be discovering these things pa. Kasi part ng question yung iba dito, kaya hindi ko muna ito tatanong, uh, didiscuss sa inyo. Next question. He is the one who is tasked to take photographs of crime scene, suspects, witnesses, or any physical evidence found at the crime scene. Bring them to the laboratory for processing, recording, and filing. A, investigator. B, on-scene investigator. C, police photographer. Or D, media. Okay, the correct answer here is police photographer. Investigator is too general. The one who uh, identify the perpetrator, the one who uh, locate the perpetrator, and the one who collect the evidence to establish the guilt. No, on investigator, so similar media, hindi pwede makialam sa ating crime scene because di siya allowed. So police photographer is the specific uh, na naka-in charge para sa pag-take ng photograph sa crime scene, suspect, and witnesses, especially the physical evidence para sa laboratory processing natin. Next question. This development in photography history was the basis of the modern photography since it has a negative positive processing using paper negative. Choices are A, Talbotype, B, the Gereotype, C, Heliograph, or D, Photograph. Okay, the correct answer here is Talbotype. Talbotype is also known as the Calotype. Ito pa lang ang basis sa ating modern photography dahil may kakayahan na siya na meron siyang negative and positive sa processing. One of the choices here ay meron lamang siyang positive. Hindi siya makakapag-reproduce ulit na nasolve ng talbotype or ng, ng calotype. No? Next question. What is the root word for photography which can be translated as to write? The choices are a. Grapi. B. To expose. C. Grapia. Or D. To write. Okay, the correct answer here is letter C. Grapia or translated as to write. Kanina yung pause means light and then grapia means to write. Ang photography means writing with light or to write with light or to write using light. Yan ang mga ibig sabihin yan. Next question. Statement 1. Photography deals with the reproduction of image using light. Statement 2. The photo photography is the reproduction of image using chemical, thermal, electrical, or electronic means. Choices are A, statement 1 is correct, B, statement 2 is correct, C, statement 1 and 2 are correct, or D, 
statement one and two are incorrect. Okay, the correct answer here is letter C. Both statements are correct. Why? Photography is using light in reproducing image. And di lamang light, the modern photography, meron tayong ginagamit na chemical, thermal, electrical, or electronic means para magproduce tayo ng image. Both are true. Next question. Objects in photography can only be produced by light and not with radiant energy. A, true, B, false, C, partially true, or D, partially false. Okay, the correct answer here is letter B. It's false. Why? Photography can be produced or... Photography can all, can produce by light, but can also be produced by using radiant energy. Pwede siyang magamit. No, hindi lamang light. Even radiant energies can be used like UV light, the uh, different, uh, yung X-ray, yung gamma rays, mga ganon. Pwede yan, mga yan. Next. The gyreotype is a development in photography and was a success because it was given a patent. But the problem is the following. A, it was just a duplicate work. B, it was copied by another person. C, it was just a positive process. Or D, it was owned by Luis de Guire. The correct answer is letter C. Okay. It was just a positive process. Actually, ang daguerreotype ay successful but positive process lang ibig sabihin o yung nag-reproduce ka, hindi na pwedeng mag-produce ulit. Like yung calotype or tal talbotype ay pwede kang mag-reproduce dito. No? Don't mind the uh, yung line na uh, baka naman makakita lang kayo ng mga mark, eh, yun na yung isip yung tama. No? Uh, pardon for that, pero just focus on the answer and the question. Film and photo paper are part of the basic elements of photography called A. Light B. Sensitized materials C. Camera D. Chemical process Okay, the correct answer is sensitized materials. Okay, so put film and photo paper are part of basic elements of photography. At ang mga uh, ang tawag dito sa film and photo paper natin ay mga sensitized materials. Okay, so light and ang ating medium para mag-expose camera is the equipment, the light tight box, chemical process para sa development natin. Next question. There are some other sources of radiant energies other than light. To name some are the items listed below except A. Light B. Infrared rays C. Ultraviolet rays or D. X-rays Okay, ang hinahanap lang dito ay alin daw ang sources ng mga radiant light maliban sa uh, light. Okay, of course, the answer there is light because it is redundant. No? At the same time, lahat ng listed B, C, and D are sources of radiant light. You can have alternative light, ibig sabihin yan, or radiant energies, I mean. We can have X-ray, X infrared rays, ultraviolet rays, and X-rays. Pwede yung mag, uh, maging medium din sa ating pag-expose o pag-produce ng image. The first ever photograph produced is called A. 
Talbo type. B, the Gerio type. C, heliograph. D, calotype. Okay, the correct answer there is heliograph. No? Ito ang first ever photograph produced na ito magal ng 8 hours ang kanyang exposure. Okay? Okay, for now, those are the different na questions na unang dapat natin lang may exercise in recalling our um, uh, course, Forensic Photography. Let's wait for more. I will be making more Q&A para makatulong sa inyong pag-prepare sa inyong board examination. Thank you very much. To God be the glory. Jesus saves.